scientists successfully reconstruct an embryo of Tyrannosaurus rex from chicken DNA. A 68 million year old DNA sample found in a recently excavated pregnant Tyrannosaurus rex fossil from soft tissue cells has led researchers at North Carolina State University to produce the first fully living dinosaur embryo in millions of years. In the skin cells of a chicken, a modern relative to the Tyrannosaurus rex, was introduced the pregnant Tyrannosaurus rex's DNA, which was preserved in extremely good condition, according to the experts. We always think of the T-Rex as this massive crocodile-like bipedal reptile but in fact its closest modern relative as birds and the T-Rex was probably the dinosaur equivalent of a chicken, says Linda Rushmore, lead researcher at the Paleontology Research Lab at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. At first we were shocked by the similarity of both DNAs and we are extremely excited about the embryo's positive results and development, she adds. A chicken dinosaur hybrid. The living embryo is not a 100% dinosaur, but rather a genetically engineered cross of a Tyrannosaurus rex and a chicken, states Helmut Hans Fraser, a North Carolina State University molecular biologist. It is difficult to recreate a fully living dinosaur from such small DNA samples, but we have successfully incorporated this DNA into living chicken skin cells, so the outcome of this embryo would be a complete surprise if it comes to terms and eventually survives its own birth and does not pose any biological defects. We have no idea what to expect at all, notes the Molecular Biology Sciences Assistant Research Professor. We have noticed that for a common chicken embryo, the embryo grows at abnormal rates. Currently it is only three days after the development of a normal chicken embryo at a fifth, but its growth seems exponential, which is clearly fascinating, he admits, visibly enthusiastic about the discovery. This is an ethical discussion. Although the news has been viewed by many scientists as a positive development for science, some experts believe the experiment is unethical and potentially dangerous. Who would want to bring back to life, in his right mind, a four-meter-high creature weighing about eight tons? asks Jacques Clement, a French bioethicist, at the University of Versailles in Paris. There is already a general agreement that GMO crops can destroy human DNA, and now we are producing a dinosaur DNA like Frankenstein creature. If extraterrestrials are looking at us right now, unbelievingly they must shake their heads, he says with humor. If this species crosses breeds with modern chickens, what happens? This might forever alter our modern chicken's DNA, just as GMO plants do when interbreeding with millennia-old animals, he adds as a warning. Last year, a related gene editing technique known as CRISPR was successfully used by the Harvard geneticist George Church and his colleagues to introduce mammoth genes for small ears, subcutaneous fat and hair length and color into elephant skin cell DNA. Thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video. So if you did like the video, please hit the like button below, it would really much appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, we put out a new video every day, so go subscribe now. See you later.